Hi everyone, this is Pam from TrustingYourProcess.com. I decided to do something a little differently. I keep saying I want to document my journey and it feels like I'm not um, doing it authentically. Like I'm only showing the good stuff or um, when I'm not having such a bad day, but I was... I was sitting here working. I have a writing client that I am late with my work for. And um, and it's so weird because I start feeling this guilt trip. Like, I, I am so appreciative that I even have this client. But I am also feeling burnt out and feeling guilt for feeling burnt out. Um, the work that I do, the writing that I do, I mean, it's nothing really exciting about it. It's redundant type stuff, but it's a good money. It's good money monthly. And it's also my opportunity to eventually be able to leave my nine to six job. Um, and to eventually be self, self sustained with clients and um, I just recently bought my van, so you know I gave my notice, and I gave my notice to my apartment complex, not my job, that I would be, you know, living in my van or out of my van. And I keep thinking to myself that I'm just not motivated to work, and I know it has a lot to do with working all day and then having to come home. And then I'm just tired. You know, I eat and then I sit here a little bit and I'm just not motivated to work. And I feel bad because I'm like, I don't want to potentially lose a client because, you know, I'm not motivated. But I felt like I needed to make this video because this is real. I mean, I, this is what I go through all the time in terms of how do you motivate yourself? How do you keep yourself going? Um which is another reason why van life appeals to me because I personally think that my day job is kept just to pay rent here. And if I can minimalize and downsize my expenses, then I won't be so stressed and then I won't need as much money. Um, and I can then focus full time on income like the client that I have. So I won't be burnt out. I won't be late on my assignments. And I don't know. I just thought I'd share that thought with you and what I was going through in terms of my mental state. Um, today it's raining, um, which is another reason. It's, um, it's so dark. It gets dark earlier. And I'm starting to question, you know... <clears throat> What's going to happen when I'm in the van? I mean, like, I'm not, it's not going to be bright. All this self-sabotaging shit is coming up. And it, in one hand, I'm glad it is because it's coming to the surface and I get to deal with them and keep it moving. But I'm also noticing that I don't know if, if the self-sabotaging thoughts will really ever go away. It's just a matter of getting better at coping and managing them. Um, I was, I guess I got the motivation because I was looking at a video of another girl who, I guess she's, she's a blogger or whatever. Um, and she's in New York and she saw, she's talking about her feelings. And I thought, Hey, that's a good idea. You know, I'm not sure if, if it resonates with anyone, but it does help me. Like I feel better getting it out. Um, and, you know, who knows, maybe I'll work a little bit tonight before I go to bed. But these are real feelings, man. These are real feelings, at least for me, that I'm learning how to deal with. And um, and I guess it's just part of trusting my process that it'll be okay. It will be okay. So... I would like to hear your comments. I would like to read your comments if you can resonate with what I'm saying. If you've gone through or going through something similar 
Um, or how do you get through your day? How do you motivate yourself? What do you say to yourself um, to get over the hurdles um, of just everyday life or getting a project done? I would be interested in, uh, in reading about that. So until next time, this is Pam. Remember who loves you.